Naruto, 10 characters who changed the least since the beginning. There are many characters who don't show any remarkable change over the course of the Naruto series. There are many characters in Naruto that greatly changed over the course of the series. The main character went from being a friendless and annoying boy to securing lasting peace between the villages. After becoming one of the strongest shinobi of all time, he became the Hokage. His influence would convince people to change deeply held beliefs for the sake of the world. On the other hand, there are characters who haven't altered their beliefs and haven't shown great changes in their abilities. There are many characters who don't show any remarkable change over the course of the series. 10. Kurinai was an expert at Jinjutsu. Kurinai met her future lover, Asuma, as a child. Kurinai and Asuma became good friends early in life. She was later placed on the same team as Asuma. Kurinai showed a remarkable ability in Jinjutsu. After Asuma died, Kurinai was left to raise their only daughter by herself. While the death of Asuma greatly altered her personal life, her skill set remained relatively unchanged over the years. Unlike some of the other characters, she didn't seem to improve on her skills. 9. Yamato helps out with Team 7. At a young age, Yamato had been abducted by Orochimaru. Yamato would be subject to Orochimaru's experiments. After Orochimaru was forced to flee the village, Yamato was taken in by Root, but would leave Root after disagreeing with Danzo. Yamato could be an incredibly calm and cautious person. He viewed all the ninja of Konoha as his allies. Due to Orochimaru's experiments, he gained the ability to control the tailed beasts. His powers would lead to him becoming an ally of Team 7. 8. Irika is still teaching the next generation. Irika Yumino was a chunin who spent years teaching at the academy in Kanoha. As a child, Iroku suffered from the loss of both his parents. As Irika grew, he became interested in passing on knowledge to the next generation. Irika would have a hard time teaching Naruto, considering that Naruto housed the monster that killed his parents. The only change seen in the character would be when he changed his opinion on Naruto. For decades, Irika would work hard to instruct the next generation of ninja. 7. Shino is still really awkward around people. Shino was a relatively quiet person. He was incredibly awkward around people. He also showed a great love of insects from a young age. Shino became close to the rest of his teammates on Team 8. He showed that he really cares about what other people think of him. He was upset when Naruto didn't recognize him when they were first reunited. In Boruto, Shino gets emotional after his students change their opinion of him. Deep down, Shino is still that awkward person he's always been. 6. Ten Ten has always been interested in ninja tools. Ten Ten is calm and intelligent. She gets along well with her teammate, Niji. She is somewhat disapproving of her other two teammates' antics. She believed in herself and wanted to become a great ninja like Tsunade. From a young age, she showed a great interest in ninja tools. She enjoyed collecting ninja tools from around the world. She hoped to someday open a ninja tool shop, which was a dream she achieved in Boruto. 5. Zetsu tried to carry out Kagaya's will. Zetsu was a member of the Akatsuki. Zetsu was the merged form of White Zetsu and Black Zetsu. Kagaya had created both Zetsu during her lifetime. White Zetsu was originally a victim of Kagaya's infinite Tsukuyumi. Black Zetsu was born to carry out Kagaya's will on Earth. While together, Zetsu would go to great lengths to make sure Kagaya could return to the world and consume the world's chakra. Zetsu never expressed any personal goals, only working towards getting Kagaya what she wanted. 
4. Hinata showed great kindness to those around her. Hinata's grandfather saw her great kindness as a weakness. When she was forced to fight her sister, she was unwilling to strike the younger girl. Her actions resulted in her losing her place in the family. Hinata trained hard and improved her skills. No matter what happened, Hinata never lost her kindness. She fell in love with Naruto at a young age. Her love for him would never waver. In her heart, Hinata is the same person she has always been. 3. Jiraiya was smart somewhat lazy. Jiraiya failed to impress his sensei in the beginning. When compared to his teammates, his skills fell flat. Over the years, Jiraiya would improve his skills to the Kage level. He was twice offered the role of Hokage but would turn it down both times. He wasn't interested in all the hard work required for the position. Jiraiya turned his interest into a lucrative career as a novelist. Though one time, he convinced Naruto to write a novel in his place. 2. Kakashi was always a gifted ninja. Kakashi was a gifted ninja from a young age. Regarded as a prodigy, he believed in strictly following the rules. Kakashi would change his opinion on the rules after losing many allies due to war. Kakashi's main objective then became protecting his allies. No matter what, Kakashi was willing to lay down his life for those he cared about. As an adult, his incredible skills show why he was regarded as a prodigy in the first place. His possession of the Sharingan only helps him improve his skill. 1. Itachi never changed but the perception of him did. From the time he was a small child, Itachi greatly cared for his village and his clan. He desired peace above all else. When relations deteriorated between his clan and his village, he tried to come up with a peaceful solution. In the end, he had to sacrifice his clan for the benefit of his village. He was willing to make this sacrifice under the assurance that his little brother would be protected. He had been viewed as a villain for a lot of Naruto, but he was actually a very noble person.